Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Fran Bow. Now, I have no idea what this game's about, but I know that you play as a young girl, this wide-eyed, googly-eyed, coconut head looking ass with a cat that's smiling low-key. Like, how did you take the picture and get the cat to smile like that? I don't know, but whatever. I'm not gonna judge. If the cat wants to smile for the picture, then so be it. We are gonna start this right now. I'm gonna click new game. This game uses an autosave feature. Thank you for telling me that, game. Thank you very much for telling me that. Everything's fine! Oh, this is one of those games where I have to narrate. It feels like heaven. All right, I'm gonna I'm do my best voice for a girl. I see my parents. They look happy. Yeah, kind of. Low-key happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. Is it a cat? It's gotta be the cat. It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. The kitty is so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. Yay! It's Mr. Midnight! My best friend. That's cute. My dog is my best friend. My only friend. Same here. Me and this girl, we have a lot in common already. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. Hello, Aunt Grace! I really like her a lot. Hi! She looks so happy too. She's like, It's Friday. My parents are going out. Bye, guys. They're probably going to motel, huh? Yeah. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, look at the cat! Just drinking whatever that is. We are having so much fun. Oh, so much fun, guys. So much fun eating spaghetti. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. It was probably the food that Aunt Grace made. Oh! A strange creature outside my window. That's actually really creepy. I don't like it. It scares me. It scares me? Goddamn, I'm a grown man too. Suddenly I hear something. Oh God. What do you hear, girl? It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. Uh, I don't. Go hide under the blanket. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Mama? Papa? Is anybody in here? And closer. Why would you go closer? A knifeu! A bloodstained knifeu! Mom? Dad? A hand? Please don't. Why are you crying blood? What the fuck? Mommy? Daddy? Why? Why is this a thing? Okay, there's a knifeu. There's some severed, dismembered bodies. That is weird. Aww! The cat is using her as a pillow. That's nice. Oh, why are you mad though? What's wrong? What's going on? Uh oh. Who the hell? Don't touch me! Stranger danger! Haven't you guys ever heard about that? Friend, please. Follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. What? Where's three? Three! There we go. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. Ooh, we get to choose what we want to say. I feel like dying. I'm fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. You can go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat. I'm not crazy. I need my kitty. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Hey, man, you gotta be optimistic. Come on, four eyes, don't give me that shit with your legs crossed. But now, I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. It better not be the bloodstained knife, fool. Or I'll use it on you, doctor. Oh, do we move her? What? Oh, this is a point and click? 
Oh, I thought we actually move. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There is something inside. What is this? Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Oh, thank you. A very sneaky tutorial. Thank you very much. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it to all the other things you find to good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace, I'm worried too. I'm worried too, because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it! You're out of control, young lady! So tired of all this. I'm so tired of all this, I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready! Hello, nurse. Anything new today, Dr. Dan? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Hey, how do you know my visions? You can see into my mind or something? Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Why don't you take it? I don't want to take that shit. Fine, I'll take it. Without water, though? Damn, she's brave. What do we do now? I don't feel good. Whoa, shit! That's a lot of bodies. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Take her back to her room. And nurse... Don't let her take this ever again. You're the one that fucking told me to take it! You want me to take it, then you don't want me to take it, man? Kiss my franny ass. As soon as I took it, I saw those visions of my mom and dad's head coming down, some shadow dude behind me. It's because of the medicine. I'm calling it now. It's because of the medicine. Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness... I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Oh, it's my kitty! Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. We gotta save our kitty. We gotta save our pretty kitty. I love you. I love you too, kitty. I wish I knew your name. Does the cat not have a name? Can we name the kitty? Oh, it's Mr. Midnight. <laughs> I knew that, guys. You didn't know that, did you? Mr. Midnight. Chapter 1. My sober day. My sober day? She's like 10. Come on, you, you can't even be old enough to be sober. Come on, girl. I mean, you should be sober 24-7. Not 21 yet. Oh, I got snot dripping down my nose. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit sick, but we got to wake Franny up. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Okay, let's check everything out. So, these eyeballs mean I can go left and right? Yes. Got it. Cool. I like games like this. Let's check our little toy. Oh, sweet. Sweet Melody. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Oh, holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Sure. Can we use this? Use golden hook with music box? Yeah. I'm not sure what to do with this. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. We're gonna do this. How do I open the inventory? Hold on. Inventory is my purse. There you go. Use this with that. Arg! Won't work! Hey, why are you getting mad at me for? I didn't know it was gonna work. Did you know it was gonna work, friend? Yeah, stop giving me that attitude, girl. Before I give you some more of those pills. Let's check what's behind here. I can still walk around and see what's on the other side. Oh, whoa. Hey, kid. What's going on with this guy? Hello, Phil. Hello. Know any way out? How are you? Let's ask how he is. He seems like he's down in the dumps. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. I have to find Kitty now. Bye. <laughs> Fran is a savage. They are just stupid. They always say that. They are stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. 
The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? Come on, tell me, kid. I saw the doctor write a secret code. I'll see if I can find it. Bye! Alright, see you later, alligator. Let's check this thing. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Let's examine it. Okay, it's open. That's good. I hope somebody loves you. I love you. Oh, what did Mr. Horse? Are you having a good time? No! I used to have a blue dress like yours. Hmm. This is Fillmore Bronstone. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia is not yet diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Hmm. Yeah, don't answer any of the questions, man. Be a rebel. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? You right? You right? Of course it's locked. Let's go over to where that nurse was. Pretty sure there's something good over here. My legs are just fine. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? I don't need towels! Hmm. Can't see through this window. Let's talk to this old hag. Oh, friend, you're awake! God! Yes. <laughs> she looks so evil. Now leave! I'm working! I did something. Lady Nurse, I did something. See? You are nothing but trouble! What is it? Broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pshh! Accidentally! I have to fix this! Follow me! Why don't you go follow yourself? Get your ass out of here. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. Hmm. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Where are we going? Ah, oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Weird. Is there anything I'm supposed to look at here? No? Okay. Hi, nurse! Something is missing! Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? See nothing! No, miss, I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. What, are we gonna call me a little bitch, huh? Yeah, you don't have the balls to. Let's check the stuff on here now. She's gone. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh, shit, the gun! Get the gun! Get the gun! Why would a nurse have this? She wants to kill us all? Yeah, I'll leave it as it was. Cool, cool. Let's get the cigarettes. Oh, that's a band-aid. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Drawing of the brain? What in the world? What's this? Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. Oh, I can't read this shitty-ass handwriting. It's like mine. Okay, I think we're good here. We got everything we need. So what else are we looking at? Nothing? Alright, let's go over here. And we gotta figure out a way to open this shit. I should get the key for this. Where is the key? Is it back at this desk? I didn't see anything. The key, the key. The key is... Oh, wait. Um, 8H? The nurse's handwriting is awful. It is. Alright, where is the key for that drawer, huh? Let's get out of here. Maybe we can leave, too. Of course, it's locked. Billy, I need your help. Hello, Phil. Hello. Phil, I need your help. Let's get out of here, bro. What's the way out? There are many ways out. Come on, keep talking, keep talking. Come on, give it to me. Everything's locked. Yes, but you know that everything is locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. I saw a secret code, but it didn't do anything. He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Who? Oh, oh shit! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. What in the fuck? And nobody will help you escape. This is disturbing. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Yeah, tell him, girl. Let's see. 
Let's examine the box. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Ah, I see. I see. I see. Okay. So, the code is on the table. Duh. Of course, guys. I'm getting used to Fran Bo, okay? I'm getting used to it. So, it's hide. Eight, nine, four, five. Eight, nine, four, five. Got it. Eight, nine, four, five. Eight, nine, four, blam! Yes, the pills. Kitty told me these will help. Cool. So let's try one. Oh my god! What the fuck? This is so freaking disturbing. Get out, creepy creature. Hello, Miss Nurse. Whoa, you got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? What the fuck? This shit is so disturbing. Oh my god. This is freaking awesome. Can we go in here? Locked. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh. Why is there a dead fox? Wake up, Fran. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight! Yeah. Why is there a dead fox? I don't think the fox is crying. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Yeah, eternal sleep. What's this say? Who did it? I wish I could know the answer. I'll find out, I promise. Let's see what Fillmore's up to. Oh, oh this is creepy as shit. What is that black thing sitting next to you? Hey, friend, don't be racist. He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Look at Phil's face. Ugh. That's so creepy. Of course it's locked. What's this? You can see. Yes, I can see. Hello? Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. How the fuck do I get out of here? What do I do? What do I do? A key. This will certainly open something. Oh my god. That was the key to the thing the whole time? And I fucked up? Who is this, man? Oh yeah, duh, I already saw that, but that's still creepy as shit. Okay, here we go, here we go. Use. Bam! There we go. And there's something inside. Hmm. It is a very disturbing photo. Yummy. My hair clip! I should give it a good use. Yes! Pick the locks! Yay! Found something that works. Okay, here we go. Use hair clip with door. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Um, this? Arg, the shape is not right. Uh, there's two things. Oh man, I need two things. Where am I gonna find two things, Phil? Can you help me? No, you can't help me? All right. Maybe the carousel has something? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. Let's try the hook on here. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. I'm not clever enough. I don't know anything. Well, this. Um, it won't do. Let's try this. Negative. Combine this and that. Combine it with this. No? Oh, there's a needle right here. Yes. Okay. Now we got it. So we're gonna use that needle and the hair clip with the door. Got it. Combine this and that. Yes! All right. Got it, guys. Yes! <laughs> oh, okay. What was that? Looked like Slender Man's funny old brother. What? This wasn't here before. I don't like this. Oh, okay. The king likes drawings. The king likes drawings. 
Who the fuck is that? You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, brrrr. Let's go down here. No, that's not it. Up here. Whoa. Hello? Can we get off the pills? Oh. Okay, so when we take the pills, it goes to the other world, obviously. Then when we don't take the pills, it goes to this world. Cool, let's talk to this little brat. Hello? You see them, you do, right? I don't buy. <laughs> Friend, she's so blunt. See what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. I wish I didn't. You like to draw? I love to draw. Ooh, then we can show the king the drawings because the king likes drawings. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Cran! A cran! I want to find the cran! I draw the town. Okay, shh. Shut up about your cran. I want to find my cat, but we both can't have what we want, alright? Draw a cat if you don't have one. Keep looking for my cat. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? Huh? Who told you? The one that follows me. Bye. Let's see. This one. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. Oh, that is so freaking cool. I love it. Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. Now I want to check here. The drawer is empty. Let's check what's up with this girl. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person. Oh, that is so fucked up. Which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings therapy. She is making progress. That's good. Good for her, man. Let's get out of here. Let's see. Whoa! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Man, you're old. You don't even know what you're thinking anymore. You sure? You told me to go and eat. Did I? Hmm. All right, then. Carry on. Yeah, I'm going to carry on. Carry on my way. Was... Oh, my God. My voice sucks. Let's go in here. The gate is very locked. You are very right about that. Oh, who are you, sir? Let's see what he looks like in scary form. What the fuck? Ew, a crunchy pig's head ready to be served. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Wonder what part of the body that is. His big piggy penis. Hello, sir. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a... What the fuck? You should kiss your butt! That is disgusting, pedophile. How am I going to get that shit? That's the office key. It must be. But what can I do to reach it? Hmm. Hey, what are you looking at? Your ugly ass face. Nothing, I think. So you're able to think. You should think about getting the hell out of here. You should think about dying right now because you suck. I will buy. Okay. Let's go through here. They just let kids wander around the asylum? It's kind of weird. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, I wanted to know. I don't know. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. This game is weird as fuck. He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts, bye. I will laugh at you. Look at this bear. This teddy bear trying to crawl away. Teddy, what are you doing here? And the teddy's like, help me! Holy fuck, he's trying to kill me! It feels like a chilly breeze of sadness coming through this fence. Is it weird that I like this fucked up world as opposed to like the normal asylum world? I think I am fucked up. Oh no! The lady nurse died. Did she? No, she's eating. Hello. Oh, hello, friend. How are you today? 
I see dead animals. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're fine. Carry on now. Carry on now means get out of my face because I'm doing something. Open the yellow door, please. That's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. Oh, so sorry, miss. Let's go. Let's just go, friend. Very well, friend. Go play with your friends now. Let's play with this uh, little kid Jason mask thing. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. Good for you. Bye. What's your name? Could you please kill me? Please? Sure? Fuck it. Let's see what happens if we say sure. Sure. Bang. You're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Dang, these guys take role-playing to another level. Jesus. I don't like bitter coffee. Well, bitter coffee doesn't like you. The sofa. Made to be sat on. You. Made to make obvious remarks. Mr. Midnight, are you here? I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. Oh, okay, okay. So, we have to get more items here? Don't touch my sword! I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king! Should we be a little bitch and bow to him? Nah. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your cane. What walking cane? Don't you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. I would like your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Okay, you got it. Let's see. This door is always locked. Let's see what he looks like. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's get out of here. That man, that holy man took all your clothes. So we need to give a sword and a horse. Got it. Where would I find a sword and a horse? Oh, here we go. Isabel! Never mind, she's sleeping. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work! The paper is not working! What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me! What does the paper do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television! Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful! Change the channel, please! Alright, let me turn this knob. Is this it? Is, is this what you like? Weird. The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Got it. Is that it? It works! It works! A miracle! Thank you! Paper vision positive! Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the papers to write or draw on. I'm busy! Paper vision revision in action! Let's see. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, that's creepy. I can see something. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, that guy has no head now. Oh no, they did it all wrong. Little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. Can I grab anything from this world? Or is this just like her imagination? Yeah, okay, let's get off the pills. Maybe we can grab this boat? I wonder if this paper boat can sail. How do we get that thing for that guy so he can get his cane? I mean, his sword. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode of Franbo here. I don't really know how I feel about this game right now. It's very trippy, it is unique. 
I didn't know it would be this fucked up, but it is very cool to see. If you guys want me to continue the series, make sure you let me know by giving this video a like, because if this game is a story-based game, then that means there's going to be spoilers in the comment section, so I'm not really going to read the comment section of story-based games. Make sure if you want to see more Franbo, give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude!